So you can hear it? Yeah, but there's no contact, like no connection. All right, guys, as you can hear, this winch is not working. And so we are gonna to try to fix it because what good is a winch if it's not working? This is a, oh, it's an off brand. I think it's a Grande, which I don't know if that's like a child company of Kings or Supercenter or something like that. I don't know, it was on the car when I got it. And as you can hear, it's not working. So we're gonna be pulling it apart. I know it's mainly a solenoid box issue because I've had to pull it apart once before, but I figure while we're here, I wanna do the rest of the winch anyway because the free spill on this thing is tough as guts. So yeah, we're gonna rip it apart, see what we can fix see what it's like on the inside, so let's get stuck into it. So there's our winch. All right, so winch is out of the car. As you can see, Grande 12,000 pound winch, Mark II supercharged, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, don't know much about this winch. It's probably just a, not like another knockoff type King's Chinese thing. Anyway, we're gonna get stuck into it by first separating it into its components. So the, I think it's the gearbox, so this is where your gears are, and then you've got the motor, and then obviously the spool. So we'll start by separating that. Oh, it actually looks pretty clean. That looks really nice. It actually looks a lot cleaner than I would have thought. That is actually really clean. Maybe we didn't have to pull this apart. Because I'm used to the other things I've seen, that's oh, like... Oh, that looks clean as. Is it probably not even worth pulling it apart at that point? All right, well, much to my surprise, this winch looks very well, you know, sealed and still operating. If you have a look on the motor end, everything's all still clean. There's no rust whatsoever, no corrosion. There's still heaps of grease. All the seals are like in perfect condition. And it's the same on the gearbox side, all greased up, no corrosion, no rust. All the seals are absolutely fine. And same with on the inside of the um, spool. So just seeing that, I'm sort of thinking there's no point pulling this apart and potentially like breaking seals or things not going back together as tight. Um, instead, we'll probably just end up pulling the solenoid apart because that definitely is the issue. But as to why the winch is so hard to free spool, it's probably just because it's a 12,000 pound winch. And I don't know, obviously like these gears have meshed together fairly tight and with all the grease in there, there's maybe the slightest bit of binding maybe. I'm probably just gonna end up chucking this back together because I don't wanna pull things apart. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of thing. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. All right, so because the winch, as you saw, was in perfect condition to what I could see, um, we're gonna go to the roots of the problem, which is the solenoid box. Just got it off the car here, and we're just gonna start taking it apart. Yeah, see, so there's a bit of corrosion in there, a little bit of rust and things. There's our solenoid. All right, so we got our solenoid separated from the terminals. We take off each section. So there's like a bottom casing, then there's the main section with all the contacts and the solenoids and stuff. And then there's another sort of separated dish. And then there's this, which in here is your coils. Yes, now, so if we take a closer look, obviously, look how grubby that is, that's got corrosion all through it. And you can see there's moisture actually in the coils there. So to do that, we wanna dry it out. So we are gonna stick it in a very low temperature oven for a while, because it's a dry heat, it should um, evaporate a bit of that moisture. So we'll do that. In terms of all these contact points here, as you can see, the pins are pretty grubby. Um, so we'll clean them up anyway, even though that's not absolutely crucial. The main points of interest are on the back side of these contacts, or you see on the top of there, they're the contact points and they are very grubby and they're not flat either. So with a winch to get your best speed, um, like retrieve, speed, that sort of thing, you want the highest current and that's achieved by having the greatest sort of contact area um, because any sort of limiting in contact area is gonna lower your current because there's resistance in the line. Pretty much what you wanna do is clean up these contact points, top and bottom, and then also on the back side here, we wanna clean them up as best as we can and make them as flat as possible so the contacts are good. And then that's how we're gonna get our sort of best performance out of our winch.
All right, so as you can see there, we've got one that I've just cleaned up quickly on the uh, bench grinder, and then that's one before. So as you can see, the main part is the contact points. So as you can see, our ones are now pretty shiny, which means that they are nice and clean of corrosiveness. All right, so we just got the coils out of the oven and um, they're nice and warm now, so we're gonna let them cool down, but that definitely should have got any sort of moisture out of there. So um, yeah, we'll let it cool down and then we might even give the exterior just a bit of a uh, careful hit with the bench grinder just to get rid of some of the corrosion there. With these terminals touched up, we can now sort of start putting it back together, so. All right, so this is cooled down. Um, there's not really much we can do about the outside surfaces. So as long as it's, you know, there's no real obvious stuff, then we can just put it back together. That. These screws can sort of go in. All right, so we've just put it back together. I'll uh, put the screws in and all the bits, just the same way we took it apart. So when we're putting back the solenoid box, this does come with a gasket, but the one we had was pretty destroyed. So we're gonna make our own, just out of um, the same rubber I used for the inner guards on my car because that's what we have. So I'm just gonna put this down and then follow the edges and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so when we're making up the gasket, we've gotta um, punch out the holes for the, uh, where the screws go through. So we are using a, or making a wad from a Dynavolt sleeve and we're turning it up on the lathe, just using a file. So um, we're gonna just, uh, work this edge here until we get like a sharp edge that we can use as a punch to get our hold. I'm just probably do it, I reckon. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Use our punch, we've got our holes marked out uh, just from tracing the rocks and then we line that up. And there we've got a nice perfect hole. Hold in half, just the guts. All right, so there's our gasket, um, DIY gasket. So when we put that on, all the holes line up and hopefully, once we get our screws through it and tighten it up, it should act as a decent seal. I didn't clean it as though as I did this time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we're just chuck a tiny bit of anti-seize on the screws here as well. Oh yeah, now it's pulling together. Also on this solenoid box, they do have water drain holes, which I don't really understand because it's like they're assuming water's gonna get in there, which it shouldn't. So we're gonna plug them because we're hoping this is gonna be watertight. So we are going to use these two screws to plug these two little holes. And we're gonna add some former gasket, which is like a, it's a gasket, but it's more liquidy. It's not like, like a silicon sort of um, texture. It's more watery. So I only gonna use a tiny bit of that just because we, I don't plan on pulling these out again. So, all right. So that should be our sealed box now. Hopefully, assuming it's all done right. So now we can chuck it and the winch back in the car. All right. So after much effort getting this winch back into place and after Patrick dropped it on me a couple times, <laughs> we finally got it back in. Um, so now, moment of truth, let's see if we've put it all back together correctly because we may not have. So... Um. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I oh, know. <laughs> there you go. So now it works. Let's so, and then that's, let's just hope now that it stays, because this is all well sealed now. So let's hope that it doesn't corrode over again. Hope that those contacts stay good. So, um, yeah. Guys, so that's the winch restoration all complete. Um, already, I can tell it's running faster than it was before because that contact's better. Uh, switches work every time. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like what you see, leave a comment, leave it a like, get subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one.